Hey guys, it's Sans here, and in this video I'll show you an advanced animation tutorial for FPS weapons. Um, this will be the final result. It's not perfect, and you know it can be improved, a lot of improvements, but it's it's a lot better than my last one. I cover quite a bit. I cover the graph editor, um, movements, what to do with movements. And yeah, it's it's a pretty simple process, but yeah. Okay, so the question is, where do we start? So basically, I always start first by hiding the left arm, but these are connected. Okay, I'm just gonna hide the arms and first animate the gun by itself. So. In my first tutorial, I'll show how to do different animations in the type editor and stuff, so watch that if you're not sure. Um, so first, I'm going to set this to 30 FPS. That's just the easiest to animate with, I reckon. Uh, also, it's best for game engines like Unity and stuff, so... <clears throat> yeah, so, the first movement, I always make it come back and rotate it in a way so it's preparing for the animation so I'm just gonna get the main poses down here so I'm I'm gonna try and go for a foot kind of animation so make that come up uh, it, honestly it's a lot of um it's a lot of using your actual hands, um, which I'm pretty much doing now. And it might look not look right straight away, but that's where you can edit it in the graph editor. So, I move this up a bit. And I'll rotate this down, so there's like some sort of momentum. And... And see this bit will be, let me see, so you obviously have to watch the animation a million times before you can really move on. So I'm going to delete this keyframe, and see this this looks weird because it's not a fluid movement, it kind of slows down and it just rotates down. So that's also, a lot of the things will be fixed in the graph edit, I think I said that, but whatever. Move this twice. Rotate this. And we're going to add a little foot thing to it. And I'll delete this keyframe, move it across here. And always, um, when the gun finishes its movement down, you want to add some momentum. So you want to rotate it down like that. So it's it, it flows instead of just leaving it there. Like if I leave this here, and they go down, it doesn't look right. So you have to add some sort of rotation to it. Um, and you don't have to necessarily bring it up all the way, um, because your, your hand is still, um, the hand will still be down, so you obviously don't bring the gun back up to your face in real life, obviously. Um, also a question I get is how do you... Like, what do you do once the mag is down? Like, what sort of movement do you do? Well, honestly, I think it comes down to what weapon it is and what sort of and style you're going for. So, for me, I'm just going for, like, casual style. So... And you want it, you want it to suit the magazine. How the magazine's coming in. So, let me see. So that's not going to work. So, 
I'll make it come up like this. See. So we want that to be a lot slower. And I'm going to fix the timing afterwards too. Because it's obviously really bad. And get rid of this. And it's, that's, see, that's a weird motion. Um, I'm going to fix that in the graph of this. I'm not going to worry about it. So, at this point, I'm just going to have a look at what it looks like with hands. And, um, oh. Okay. Um, also, what I'm going to do is, for the fingers here, I'm just going to keyframe, oops, this finger frame with this finger, and I'm going to bring it out a bit. This rig is kind of weird, so, um, yeah, like, look at that, I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> okay, that is really weird. But I won't be seeing some of that word. And I wanna bring this to the front and make it Um for for those of you wondering, I won't be giving this rig away. I use this for my um personal projects, so I also like to say this rig is mine, so I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So that's out of the way. Okay, so we're going to hide these again, and we're going to make the mag come out now. So, so one cool effect that people don't normally do is they just, as soon as it flicks out, they just, they just drag the mag out. It's not, that, it's not that great, you know. So what you can do is, when it's coming up, you can kind of slide it out by the so it, it really adds to the oh so when you flick it out it like this oops you flick it out and you just make it come out like that So, it adds a bit of realism to it, I would say. And obviously, the timing is a lot off, so we're going to fix that. But for now, we're going to figure out how this mag is going to come in. And um, I'm going to go for a, like a classic Call of Duty style kind of one. So, the timing is everything when it comes to the magazine too. Um, so, let me see. So when this rotates, you want your hand to rotate with it. So as this rotates, you want the magazine to come up with it as well. That's um that's probably the best way. It's a bit fast. Okay, I'll move this here. Move that down there. And move this. And um, one frame, you're not going to see the magazine, so you can just move it wherever you want after the next frame. So that's what I'm going to do here. You want to rotate it a bit. And when you're when you're animating the magazine, you want to picture how the hand's going to be holding it. It's you're not going to be holding the mag like like this or whatever. So yeah, keep that in mind too you want then it's gonna rotate like this so obviously that's not okay 
So also one thing to add to um, the movement of it is pauses. Um, you don't you don't want to put the thing straight back in unless again that's the style you're going for. But if you want it to look like there's actually some force, um, then it's best to add like a little pause to magazine. Just like that. And then what you can do is grab the first frame from the magazine and drag it like that. And um, as the magazine is coming in, you want oops, you want the, the gun to go down a bit. So it looks like it's he's forcing it with both his hands. And on the last one, you just kind of shake it a bit. So. And again, you want another pause. Drop the gun down a bit. Rotate it up. Make it come up. Drop it again. And uh, also one thing is the animation should start off, if it's an empty mag, it should start off out. Um, you don't have to do this obviously, um, but yeah, and that should be, shouldn't be moving, but whatever. Um, and then you can add a little flick. And in the direction that um, that's called the sliders moving. So just like so, we're gonna add a keyframe, and then set this back to original position, and this okay. So it's not really going the direction of it. It's like rotating words, so rotate this a bit like that. And boom. And of course, give that some momentum too. So drop it down and bring this to its first position. Okay, so let's check that out. Okay, well, it's, it's something for now. Um, also, I'm just going to set the last frame to about 90. There we go. Right. So, we're going to check this timing. So obviously, we want this frame, what's this for? <coughs> that is way too long, so I'm going to grab all these frames, move it a bit faster. Okay, let's check this. That's about right. So when you when you're working on it, you have to watch over and over again to like make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, so I think that's good for now for the tutorial. Um, let's see. So I'm going to work on graph editor now, so when I add the hands it will be a bit easier to animate with, uh, otherwise it will just be too much of a mess. So, I'm going to open it on this window here, so graph editor, and if you don't know the graph editor I'll try and explain the best I can. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. So, basically this is a graph editor. And these curves are how the weapon moves. So if I move this up and down like that, it's going to move away like that. It's it's pretty easy to get the hand on the angles. Um, but, you know, you have to practice it and you'll get better. So, this, this should be nice and smooth, and if you look, I think it's this one here, yep, so, okay, so I'm gonna add a, make this come like that, um, let's see what is this, okay, um. Okay, so that's pretty smooth. Okay, so there's another position right there. And again, this right here should not it should not move like that at all. So I'll fix that. I can probably delete that keyframe for that rotation. So it's really looking like a million times better. So one thing I noticed is that it just kind of goes up like there. That could use a lot of work too. So. One thing also is finding the, the right one in the graph editor, that can be a bit annoying sometimes. Right, I think this is also part of this. It is, okay. So this would be, I think, mix a bit less. Bring it up like that. There we go, that's a lot smoother. Mm. So this 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 is what I mean by pauses. Like this doesn't look very nice. It could have a long it could have a nice pause. So what I'm gonna do select every frame from after here, drag it across, get this frame, duplicate it, and make the Z come down a bit like that. And we'll give it a nice little pause. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so it needs to go down. Boom. This needs to go down. There we go. So. Mm, that's some weird movement. So I'm going to fix that. <laughs> so this may need another keyframe, it's not high enough. Or you can use the graph editor, which I will do. So, oh, that is not what I wanted. <laughs> So let me go up. Okay. That looks kind of weird. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to undo all that. Um. So I'm only going to keyframe only select the channel. There we go. And that should also not be that far down. Probably don't need that. There we go. Also, the rotation. Um, which one is it? And okay, I think it's one of these. That, nope. 
Jesus. Okay, let's have a look. Maybe this. Nope. This. Nope. Okay, so I think it's this one here. I'm gonna. For this, I'm gonna add keyframe for only that channel. So. This. It's kind of annoying. Mm. It's that doesn't look right at all. Okay, I might have to delete that keyframe. There we go. Okay. So that's fixed now. And a little shake is really good too. It adds a bit of impression that you know the mat is trying to shake the mag out. Mm. For now, that should be fine. Nice and smooth, it's all going for. <coughs> so, now the hands. So, where do we start with the hands? So, what? Okay, there we are. So, um, now when we animate the hands, we want the left hand to come off pretty much straight away. Um, but maybe four or five frames, not like straight away, straight away, but you know. So I'm going to keyframe the movement on this. I'm going to bring it down and up again. And I'm going to bring it back there. I'm gonna edit this one a little bit, and I probably don't want it going down. Actually, we want it going to the side, and same with the rotation. Keep on rotation. Keep on that. Move that across. And... That's about right. It's got some weird rotation there. You can, like see it, the thumb kind of moving, but we'll fix that with the um, hand motion. I mean the fingers. So we'll just get the kind of base kind of thing um, of the movement, and then we'll animate the fingers. So now I'm going to select the main ones, and I did this in my basic tutorial, I believe, um, I've done the uh, constraints, so I'm going, constraints, okay, here we go, so I'm going to wait for that, and this frame, I'll say this frame here, I'm going to do the influences, and Swap those over, just like that, and same with the wrist. Uh, go back, boom, boom. You press I over there with the mouse over these, by the way, and it'll keyframe it. Okay, so now it's attached to that, and if we move the magazine. It's going to follow it, so now I should position it. So I'm going to rotate the wrist if I can find it. 
It's this one here. Okay, it's this one. Um, some good. And before you animate any of the fingers, make sure you keep free keyframe all the fingers or everything on one of the keyframes. So when you modify the fingers, it doesn't mess with the whole first part of the animation. And save your file, because you know, if you don't, then... I'm going to bring this here. Um, this part might be easier to do depending on your rig. <laughs> Just positioning it. So I'm keyframe the fingers. And now it should. Oh, putting my finger there. So something's happening on the finger. I believe it's too far, maybe. Okay, so it's too far. And uh, and what I mean by that is this here. Needs to be keyframed because um, it's stretching and it can't actually do the whole actual animation. So keyframe that, bring that forward a bit. There we go. And that goes in place, and you put that. There we go. I, I guess that looks alright. A lot of work can be done to the the magazine, it looks like he just... Mm. Doesn't look realistic, you could have a longer pause. Um, which I'll do at the end, since this is an advanced tutorial, I'll show you that anyway. Um, okay. Now the thumb... I'm gonna keyframe the thumb. Give it some movement. Looks like his hand is fully just letting it go. Give it a bit of movement there, so... And... I'll just give the thumb the movement as well. And the timing is kind of comes with time. Um, whoa. Okay. <laughs> so that's keyframed. This is keyframed. Move this about here. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna move this keyframe here a bit. Oops. Okay, so I should only be moving these two. And make this group that. Actually, I can move that there. So now it should look like something's happening. That doesn't look very good, to be honest. 
So this could use um some momentum, but mm, looks alright, I guess. It looks a bit snappy to me. Um, doesn't? I think this could be a bit straighter, and this could be. Uh, hmm. I think I just leave it like that because I'll take that's that's something that needs a lot of tweaking. But anyway, I'm gonna reset the position for these two, so we just copy. So we're gonna copy these. And paste them like about there. And what we can do is grab these two moves in a bit and duplicate these so it just automatically comes out of the way anyway. So look at that pause too. Move these across. There we go. Okay. So that that's about right for now. Oh no it's not. Um boom. okay, these need to be the pause needs to be a lot longer. There we go. Try this. Hmm, looks pretty good. Okay, that should be fine. Um, so now, let's see, we have to get the hand back. Um, down here, we're going to bring, so this is the interesting bit. Um, select these two, and about... There, give them the full influence, flip the influence, and same with the wrist. Boom, boom. Oh, actually, go there. And flip those. So now, what I'm going to do is get the position of, for a smoother transition, what we're going to do is get the position of. Uh, let me see. This one. Uh, about there. Coast to selected. And we want. <coughs> on the next frame. Actually, on the next frame, we're going to flip these because. Then we can set it to the original position. So we get this one. Keyframe that. Keyframe this. Set this to, which is uh, Shift S. Uh, selection to cursor. So now it shouldn't move. There we go. And just the wrist now. The wrist is a bit harder because you can't set it's not a position, it's just a um, rotation. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we set these. And now we just try and get the same rotation as it just had. Save your work, and again, you can just um set this back to the original position. Um, so this, I'm going to grab it, which is body, 
and make it come back after about there. And same with the rotation. Which one is it? Uh, I keep getting lost with these. There we go. <laughs> same rotation as that. <coughs> Let's see, move that there. Um, it's not rotating for some reason. I don't know if I set the constraint properly. Oh, okay. That's why. It's body lift. So, um, body lift oh, one. <coughs> okay. So, I believe this should. So that's fixed. Also, the finishing movement for that, like it just kind of snaps into place. Um, I'll show you how to fix that too. Okay. So, let me see. so next, I'm gonna reset all the thumb poses and stuff, and this looks like a nightmare. This one. This one. We're gonna get. We're gonna, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the keyframes from here, keyframe them, and duplicate them to the end. Oops. Oops. De duplicate them. It should have the same pose. Wait, what? Wait. Okay, I'm gonna delete these. Pick it that I did that. I'm gonna select everything, keyframe them here, so it doesn't mess around with the um, last keyframe, and I'll be fixed. And also for this one, you can just delete the keyframe for that because that doesn't go back to the original position. So it's going exactly back to how it is. There we go. So now for this bit here, the part where it's like doesn't really. Alright. Um, okay, so the thing is, if you want it to be fast, it's probably best to leave it like this. And especially for games. But if you want it to be nice and smooth just for like everything else, then we want to fix it. So I'm gonna grab this, move that there, and rotate that. And you kind of just wanna give it some smooth movement, and um, make sure you get the timing right on this too. Maybe a bit slower. Okay. So also you can use the graph editor to make it a tiny bit smoother if you're not happy with it. So 
body right. Maybe get the rotation a bit. Don't maybe feel free. You can like play around the um keyframes and you know delete some and just things like that. See now it's kind of pulling up. Pulling up. And if you want, you can add another keyframe just there and give it a bit of a wobble kind of thing. Okay. Wait, so. So this can be a very slight movement. And if you use control, middle, mouse, and you drag up, you can also get a um, more precise view of it. I don't really like the rotation. Really. It will take too long to fix this for the tutorial, tutorial, so I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, so now all I need to do is fix the magazine. It should be pretty much done. There's also a few things like um, the fingers there uh, on the holding the magazine. I don't think you can see my mouse though. So, um, I mean, not holding the magazine, holding the gun. They aren't. They should have moved, but it's pretty simple to do, so I'm not going to cover it. Um, so, so I could use a pause about here. So, long do is select all these keyframes, move them across, and just don't give it a slight little pause. Also, what you could do is make him play around with the rotation here. Maybe fix it up a little bit. So it looks like he's, you know, it's given that impression that <coughs> it's, it's not like perfect. Um, I'll make that a bit longer. Still too long. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Um, that looks kind of weird if you ask me. I'll move that like that. But yeah, that's pretty much how you make a animation, um, advancedly or whatever the word is, um, professionally, I don't know. Um, obviously this can use a lot of work, and, I mean... If you have any questions, please ask me, I'll always reply. Uh, if you like more tutorials, just tell me which ones you want and I'll try and make them. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. And yeah, sorry about the wait. A few guys were waiting for it. I know it took like two years for me to make it or something. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.